Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Uh, yes, it has been a little while since I've uh, got the last episode up. I've just been, you know, having a few on the greatest lately. But uh, yeah, I've been doing, doing a little bit of work around here. Uh, one of the things I'll show you first before we get into the things I had to deal with and I have to deal with. Uh, first thing, let me see if I can drop down here. I've expanded the basement, and the reason why I did. Uh, this hole here and this hole here is actually the front of the, this building. Uh, today we're going to start working into a storage area, and that's going to be over on this side here, but of course it's going to be up top. Now what I want to do is I actually want to start sort of conveying everything from the end result of the machines up into, uh, let's actually go to this corner here, up to a new storage area. Now uh, we're going to be using what I was talking about before about uh, uh, using multiple, well, like I showed you up where the stainless steel is, where I got multiple containers, or chests, I should say, feeding into each other with counters on them to get a general display. Uh, I will also be using, uh, I don't have any on me, oh yeah, I do, uh, the flat, flat terminal as sort of like an inventory, or not necessarily an inventory, but uh, a label. Now, I normally I could put it on a chest, but as you can see, it just shows everything in there, and I will be using this for like personal storage, like odds and ends and stuff like that. But what I'll be doing is I'll be putting a rack on top of the system, or on top of the storage area, which is going to have this on there, because it will actually just show the one icon. And I crashed. And I'm back. Now, it seems to be something to do with the... It um, the developer loading up a GUI actually in the displays because what you're seeing in there is actually this. That's what you're seeing down here, steel chest, steel chest, and so on and so forth. This does seem to cause some crashing issues, but it's alpha, so what can you do, right? Uh, another one I want to do too is I want to have sort of like a central loading system. I don't know if I'm going to have, I'll probably have it in this room here where I just have one chest where I dump everything whenever I go mining. Uh, get the aluminum, the coal, copper, whatever. Just dump everything into a chest and have it all being funneled out by robots to be dealt with and delivered to the appropriate machines in different areas and so on and so forth. I have been busy. I have been making lenses for the filtering robots. Uh, I got a whole bunch of stainless on me. Uh, another one I did too. Now, last episode I was trying to get sort of like a overrun protection set up on the tank here. And I finally figured out figured out how to do it. So I do need to have two valves or two logic vents, one here and one there. This uh, and this this is the line coming from the creosote ovens, and that's both all even those ones over there. They're coming in somewhere in here. Uh, that feeds up into here, and then it either goes into these or it goes up this pipe into this tank here, which feeds these tanks and everything else, or it goes down to the, the to the dump. So what I've done is I've changed the number on number to 256, so it's going to keep it at half a tank, which it's going down right now because it was actually filling up on me because I had this thing set up wrong. And then this is still going to be the same. Uh, green is greater than or equal to yellow, so the input, which is 469, is greater than 256, so it opens the vent. So now what I had to do is I had to put a knot on there. Now the knot is basically reverses the signal. So if it's supplying a signal, this just reverses it so it's not being powered. Now if I go and change this over to 512, go here, change this to 500 even, and get out of there. Now you can see that, that this is open now because this is just, like I said, this is just uh, an inverter of the signal. So that's open, this is closed, that means that we're stockpiling since this is closed we are not dumping and that's how how it's done it was a lot a lot more simpler than i thought i wasn't thinking about the the knot scenario but uh, i have been looking to and in titanium we're getting another logic circuit where is it yes yeah, lots of fun stuff in here uh oh we actually have big terminals Ooh. All the more reason to get into titanium. Uh, where is it here? There's a logic CPU of some sort. CPU. There we go. Uh, hard metal logic CPU. Oh, that's hard metal. Okay, we're uh, still a little ways away. I thought there was something in titanium we were getting next. Uh, no. 
Well, this is all we have until we get into hard metal, which is a little ways away yet. Anywho, so that is that. So now we got to go over here. Oh yeah, that was another one I <laughs> had too. I was having issues with these boilers running. I I always had this had a problem with these two not actually getting enough fuel. We're still not getting enough fuel, but we're just chugging along here for now. Uh, pretty soon uh, we are going to be doing a mass solar panel. Was that added in here? I thought I did. I guess I don't. But uh, a mass solar panel array. Uh, eventually, when we get the solar uh, stainless steel up and running, uh, but I was having problems with uh, these furnaces here. Not or these, yeah, these furnaces not get any fuel, and I goofed up on the GUI or on the junction here. I had the input on green because I was mirroring off of this side here. Oh, it comes in on green. Okay, so it'll be in on green on this side. Yeah, these things just ran out. But if you look at the furnace too, we're starting to get a buildup of ash. So what I've done is I've just went over here to my mini carbon production line. And I just turned it off for now because this thing is absolutely full of carbon, uh, carbon right now. 2048 and the electrolyzer's full, so it's it's bottlenecking now. The problem is, is if this bottlenecks and the ash doesn't get fed through, then my then that whole system there shuts down. Like if I don't have any ash going through and the output gets full, then Everything grinds to a halt, and unfortunately the carbon is being used for the aluminum. Well, aluminum is full. So, aluminum's not being produced right now because it's got nowhere to put it. Which is why we're expanding the storage system like I have here. Uh, I've been thinking about... Originally I was thinking about four, doing a four chest, but I might do five. And I think it was... Uh, I think it was around 11... 1,160 like in st stackable items not uh not dirt right because you can get 32 stacks times 35 it's like 11 something times five is six or seven thousand of each and that's good and then that'll be stockpiled for down the road because i was i was looking at where is oh there it is a new toy to play with well, not necessarily a new toy but something i haven't used yet and that's the assembler and i was trying to find the seeing what the assemblers could actually do by going to the GUI and recipes and trying to find out all that is, but you can craft anything. You just select any recipe you want. You can go ahead and go ahead and craft glass panels. You can go ahead and craft bamboo farms if you want, stone furnaces, anything you want. And it'll just automatically produce it for you. So that's cool. Uh, I've been thinking about using that as sort of like an on-demand crafting system. So let's say Let's say I want a stack of robot arms, so I just go in a room, hit a button, and then it just all the robot arms end up in chest for me. Unfortunately, for something like that with what we have currently, I'm gonna need a building as big as this, just for all the wiring and circuitry and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, we are good to go, so let me get a few things made and we'll start putting everything together. Okay, I'm back. So I've been trying to figure out the layout of how I want to do this, and I don't do realize that there's going to be a couple more metals we got to do down the road. I don't really know about this where we're at at it at the moment. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have six shelves on this side, or six storage setups here, there, and six over here. Now the way I'm going to do this, and I've been trying to figure out exactly how I want to set this up. I do have to get a back wall here, so. Uh, uh, let me put up a wall here of uh, redstone bricks, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the walls up. Uh, I do like the red brick. I would like it to be a little more on the orangey red side, like clay bricks. And I have brought it up about having clay brick tiles, but uh, I think we actually do have them, but they're a little more orange, I believe. Yeah, we don't actually have terracotta tiles. We have terracotta... Well, terracotta tiles, I don't know, terracotta bricks. And that's what I would like. But anyways, uh, this is basically going to be the size of it. There's going to be more because we're going to have to add more additions. And I also want to have personal storage, like chests for like the odds and ends, like machines that I have made or arms or, you know, odds and ends. Anyway, so what I want to do, and I could have sworn, okay, that's right. So my plan is to have a shelf... Let me think here. Because I want to have the shelf upside down. And you are... 
you're not going to want to go the way I want. That's fine. Uh, yeah, what I want to do is figure out exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, chest. And what it's going to be is going to be a chest here. I'm going to use the shelf upside down. I'm doing it upside down for a reason, and that's... Uh, well, you'll find out in a second here. So let's switch that around and do it like that. And the reason why I being particular of where that goes is because that's actually where the, I believe the terminal has to go to actually read. I don't know if you can actually connect it to the side. Never actually tried that. And it crashed again. <laughs> and I'm uh, back before I put the rack down. Alright, let's try this again. I actually lost the rack, didn't I? I did. Now well, I'll have to make another one. I didn't lose the terminal though. Interesting. Maybe it just doesn't like being placed upside down. But now that I know that I can place the terminal on top, then that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, good we didn't crash. Alright, now now for the next part. There is gonna be sort of like a facade going on here. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I need more logic displays. Cause that is gonna be our counter. No, stainless. Actually, is there a steel display we can use? No, just the indicator. Hmm. Alright, we'll have to go with the logic displays then. Uh, sure, make 14 of them. I'll need them eventually. And now for logic wire. Come on. There we go. Place that there. And as soon as I get my counters or um, logic displays. Now, it would be nice if we could actually see which way the text was. All over the place here. I'll get it eventually. There we go. Now, the problem is, is we don't know which way is up or, up or down until I place it. And of course, it's upside down. So I gotta place, get this place to rise way in. Uh, I'll do the smart thing, and I'll yeah, okay, make sure I place them all once I get the orientation set up. But you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. Let's see, control. There we go. So then, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a hmm. I didn't think about that either. Yeah, because I need to get the. Uh, the counter's on there, but I don't want to have everything exposed. So how is I going to do this? Could have the logic wire coming up, or maybe... No, that has to be there. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think about this. Give me a second to figure this one out before the game crashes. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this. And then I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll end up placing a block over top like so. Let's see if I can give it like an idea. So that way you don't see anything. Everything is all going to be sealed up on the sides here like so. Probably not with the red brick, but like that. And that's just to hide all the logic wires that are going to be seen behind here. Uh, I also have to be careful how I do this to make sure that nothing gets crossed. Wow, it doesn't really matter. It's just telling me the total number of everything I have in the system. So then from here, it's just a matter of getting chest into chest into chest. Can I not get down there? No, I can't. All right, let's do this. And just be thankful we don't have fall damage. So now I just have to get the, the, the arms in. And uh, yeah, we won't use the red brick just because. Now I'm hoping I can get five chests in here. That's the ideal plan. So we have a chest there. And uh, we switch over to arms. And let's see if I can get that going the right way. Like so. That's one, two, three. Right, one, two, three, four. Oh, four right there. Four gonna be enough. I also have to get counters on here too. Uh, 
four is five thousand. That's quite a bit. You can always upgrade the chest later. And uh, or better yet, we'll do it this way. Now we get me one with three chests. That ain't gonna work. I uh, would like to get five, or I could do what I was going to do before. That might actually work. I could do like a round robin. Let me think here. That could work. Let me figure something out. Okay, I think I got it here. Uh, I decided to go into the floor, and it seems to work. So that's going to give us five chests. Uh, all reading zero right now. So as you can see, we've got... Uh, each one has an item counter on it, and it each one has a robot on, robotic arm on it. Let's drop down to the bowels of the the, ba the base, and so on and so forth. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the conveyor junction coming up to here, drop down here, go into this chest, then it's going to go up into this chest, and then just start f funneling up. Should get me around 6,500 storage, I think. And uh, if it comes down to it, I can always put a, a rack here just as a backflow. Uh, the counters won't actually read the rack, but they'll read the chests anyways. And the reason why I'm not using a rack is because these don't actually work on the rack. They'll work on a chest, but they don't work on a rack. They won't give you an actual item number. All right, so that is that. Is that. Now to repeat that a whole bunch more times, find my, you know, what am I going to do? This way I actually know where I have to stand because I always try to have trouble lining up for the jetpack. So just line up in here and the stairs push you out. I love it. Alright, so that is that. So that is relatively easy. All you gotta do is uh, we go to here. And I gotta increase the size of this and adjust it. And I do have to set it just by placing one thing in there. Soon as we get up there, and get up to here a little bit more, and you get the idea. So in that way, I'll be able to see what's in here, what's in the system, and how many there is. So that is that. So now I'm gonna finish derping around here, and I'll get the rest of them all set up, and I'll bring you back when. I'm happy with what I have. Oh, too far. Okay, I'm all done now. I'm also setting up the last uh, display here. Uh, something I'm going to show you too. Uh, the developer put a lot of effort, a lot of detail into this. Uh, I'm not sure where it's going to show up, but you can actually see the reflection of the display on the, the multi-tool. I thought that was pretty interesting. Let's see if I can get a good angle of it here. Is that going to be it? Yeah, you can sort of see it right over here. Uh, as I move it down, you can actually see that the multi-tool itself is picking up reflections of everything in the environment, which uh, is pretty good. Could explain the lag, though. Mind you, having open GUIs on displays doesn't help much. Uh, needless to say, I've used about just about all my stainless steel, which is fine. We'll just have to keep it running. That is fine. At least I won't have to run upstairs to see how much I got left. I can just come over here. Oh, I'm out of stainless. And sure, close enough. So there we go. We have 12 setups here. And uh, uh, let me adjust something here. Okay. Uh, every time the game crashes, for some reason, it likes to reset my mouse sensitivity down to like 0.4, which... It's kind of hard to do things, but anyways, this is this setup here. So we have six on this side, six on that side. Right now, it's going to be two for copper, two for steel, two for aluminum, and two for stainless. Then I got two for titanium, two for uh, hard metal. Yes, that's a hard one to think of. And then uh, we'll have to get neutronium in here somewhere. Uh, neutronium, I could just push the, the wall back a little more. It's not that big of a deal. But now that this is all done, now it's time to set up the conveyors. Uh, what I will be doing too, let's see what I have on me, that's a steel plate. So I'm going to be basically going to go plates, components, or parts, plates, parts, plates, parts. And then for this displays, what I was going to do was if I can get the, this frame, because this is going to be steel plates. Put one plate in, take it out. Uh, 
Oh, I have to reset the display then. I have to go to that one. I thought it was short. I was wondering why that second box was for. Just do this quickly. Move my view out of the way so I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, in case you don't, in case you don't know or I haven't mentioned it, you can actually right-click out the window and move around. You can also, you can also walk while your GUI is open. So then we just do that. And then we can see that we got steel plates and we got zero. So that way I don't actually have to have anything in here. So basically it shows what's here and then it shows it here and how many you have, but that's just basically locking it into place. All right, so now I gotta get the rest of them set up and uh, then let me do that and I'll bring you back for the conveyors. Okay, I got them all set up now. Uh, basically uh, what it's gonna be is we're not gonna access the panel, we're gonna access the thing and it's gonna be I'm doing this now before I start boxing everything in. So that is gonna be copper plates. We'll just put that in there. We have one. Then we go to the next. This could be copper parts. Set. We could take that out. We can place that in there. So we have one of those. I have a steel plate. We can put that in there just because. And we go into here. This would be steel parts. Like so. And then so on and so forth. Let me do the other ones. Well, I've got the aluminum done already. Might as well continue on. Well, not aluminum. Stainless. Yes. Okay, aluminum, or aluminum plates, I should say. Yes, I'm going to say that a lot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, where's that component? There's the parts. I keep calling components, I know they're technically parts. Alright, so that's that side. And then we come over here, and then we do, do uh, stainless steel. Do that, and I'm not going to bother putting them in there, because I'm going to need them for... Probably more things that we're going to need to make. I do have a fair amount of junctions on me, and I realized I had about another 30 of them over in a random chest I have over there, which I want to get out of the habit of doing, so that's why I'm doing this, so I can at least get some better organization for myself, just to make things a little bit easier. But then we got spot here for titanium, spot here for hard metal, and then uh, we might even do like a, a T shape, maybe just push the wall back, starting about here. Uh, Probably leave that corner, that block in right there, take this one out and maybe move back a little bit. We shall figure it out when the time comes. Alright, so that is that. Now to get the conveyors in. And I've been thinking about the inside here too. I might I might put the roof above this, but then I'll use the stairs like I did, but as a trim on the inside, sort of some molding to go around and just cover up the uh da, 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 whatchamacallit there. Uh, racked. Yes, that's the word. So then I don't have to place block there and there, and I'll probably leave it open like that, just because. Make it a little bit nicer. I will have to go get some more redstone eventually. Uh, incidentally, I don't know if anybody noticed this, but uh, where is it? There it is. I decided to go mining the other day. I dug down all the way to the basically the bedrock. It's a big giant huge square box down below. I have no idea what it is but anyway so that is that. Now we gotta get the conveyors going and uh, yeah so let's see what, how, how many I had. Now I, did I have them in this box? No I didn't. And this is why I like having these signs on here so I can at least see what's in the chest without having to open it up. And uh, yes I had two stacks and a bit in here so I have more than enough. Uh, I do want to just see how far the conveyors actually go and I've never actually tested this so uh, let me do a little bit of testing here and I shall return with the results. Okay so we can have nine block space in between them. Now it's kind of odd I thought it would have been like an eight or a ten or something like that but no it blocks in between. So we drop down here and this is the bowels of it all. So now I actually have to do get the conveyors all set up and I'm gonna actually leave the racks there as it is for for backlog because each one of those racks once they're empty will be replaced with these ones which hold 6,000 which is pretty good so what uh, 6,000 there plus the 6,000 here so we always have backlog we keep the machines running we don't have to worry about the worry about the creosote building up because it's not being used and stuff so 
Where am I gonna start bringing stuff? I do have to get the ones upstairs down, and I've been thinking about... You know, I don't really want them running here. I might actually utilize these corners. I'll have to make another elevator up. But let us see. Okay, first we have the, st the aluminum and the stainless. So the aluminum is here. So I'm gonna take out these blocks, like that. And we'll leave that open. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Yeah. I might actually steal those, those terminals just because I think they're actually cheap, expensive, aren't they? Uh, not really, but the glass and copper wire and stainless steel. It's not expensive, it's just a bit of a pain to make. I was wondering if we could drop to there. All right, so those those two there and those two there so I do have pipes here so I'm going to be having originally I was thinking of having these funnel both into one conveyor and then having filtering robots take them out but that might not work uh, would almost be nice to have a, a wall of conveyors going down I don't know where I'd be able to put them though because we still got to get the ones from upstairs too Oh, no, no. No, we don't, actually. <laughs> uh, these ones right here. I can actually take this out. Oh, not the rack. I had two of these. That's right, because I was making making reinforced concrete. And let me see here. Okay, so I was just going into a splitter. So I'll just take the, these two out. So uh, the steel and the copper will be right over here. All right. Now let's see what we're working with down here. Okay, so that's steel, that's copper. I want to make sure there's no pipes in the way, and there is, but that isn't an issue because that's what this place is for, is for all the pipes and conveyors and all the nasty things you don't want to see everywhere, minus the bamboo farm. That's going to stay there. We don't have a choice on that. Okay, so, uh, hmm. Now where are we going to bring down the... I'm thinking the copper and the, or the aluminum and the stainless could come down here. I guess they could probably take that out and have coming down the front corner there. And then when it comes for the hard metal and titanium, uh, for, for for one, I don't know if I'll be able to get both of them on this floor. Uh, titanium for sure. I don't know about the hard metal. That might have to be a whole other building altogether. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, because I do want to have this going down here. It's going to run across the ceiling, so I think that's what we'll do. I'll just have to put some more stairs in back here or something like that. Alright, so there's that. There's stairs, but believe it or not, they actually do push you. Oh, damn it. I had to put them there because every time I tried to jump out of the hole, I kept falling back down. So I thought, oh, let's do the Minecraft trick and see if the stairs will push me. And they do. All right, so I also need more robots, more arms. I got 20 of them. I'm good, yes, that's where all my stainless steel went. I was making these damn things. Okay, and two there. Run over here. Um, oh yeah, over here. And then uh, two there. Now hopefully, me setting the roots, I shouldn't have to actually worry about the conveyors getting uh, mixed up. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see what's next. Oh, yeah, that's upstairs. Nope. Downstairs, actually. In fact, I could probably do it right here. Yes, I can. Okay. Now for junctions. The fun part. So, this one was here. So, we'll have the stainless come in this side. And take that block out. Run over here, take uh, this block out. Open my inventory so I can bring the daylight back, you know, for recording purposes. Uh, once I get solar pa power going, I will stop doing that just because that's cheaty. Uh, right now, it doesn't really matter if I have sun or not. Okay, now, let's see here. So it's going to be two separate lines. We're going to have one there and one there. And I want to make sure that they are not connecting. Uh, 
Uh, no, you should be not doing anything. And you should be not doing anything. Okay. So I can go eight blocks. So I'm going there and I'm actually going to stagger him, I think. Just because. I'm actually worried about these things getting getting mixed up, so maybe I'll reposition these. Uh, you know what? Let me do this off camera. I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, so I've got the, the stainless steel and the aluminum basically set up. So what I've done is, because I don't want them joining up and to keep it somewhat low profile wherever I can, uh, I've done it this way. So this one is going to be grabbing from this section of the rack. This one will be grabbing from that section. It'll be one like that, and the conveyors will be connecting like so. Uh, trying to keep it, like I said, as tight as possible. And in here, I don't want to. I'm trying to avoid putting one in there just in case things get mixed up. Because you get one part going in the wrong spot and it jams up the whole system. Actually, it wouldn't jam up the system. All it would really do is uh, misplace things, and that's not what I want to do. So I'm just doing it like this way, this way to make sure everything stays connected. And it's going to be relatively straightforward. This will be coming in blue and going out red. So, yeah, out red, in blue, and then input blue, output red, set the route, and then we're going to be going out the pink to the green, let's see, it's uh, going in yellow, I can actually see that, so, in yellow and out pink, yellow, pink, set the route, and so on and so forth, and can't really see because the steam from the jetpack but there we go we have the plates so that is that I did have run into a bit of a snag here because of where everything is and where I've got the placement of everything so that is the aluminum that is the steel and that is the copper so originally I was going to come down with the aluminum run across the front here and then go to the aluminum which just happens to be all the way back here so then this will be steel and this will be copper. So now I gotta do it differently where I gotta bring the copper in first, then get the steel, and then get the aluminum to try to work everything in. So some of the junctions might be coming right down to the floor. Which we can I can work with that. So like I said, this is why I've got this whole space here anyways. Nobody says uh, organization was tight tidy, easy or small for that matter. Alright, so anyways, yeah. First we start with the copper, and I think I can actually avoid this pipe, so we'll just place uh, that one there and there. And then that's going to be in the way. And I'll have to be on this block here or this row. Uh, there and there. Yeah. Then we could do the nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there. And then next one go there, and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, it's a little dark in here. I was going to fill this whole place up with lights, and it's a good thing I didn't, because I'm going to have to move a few of them. Uh, yeah, so that is copper, and all I have to do is just make sure that this one goes into the first stack, because that's plates, and that one goes into the second stack. So it's going to be a bit of a bit of a rat's nest that I'm done, but let me take care of this and hopefully I'll have some good results. Okay, I'm just sitting the last couple of conveyor junctions right now. Uh, it's been going okay. I had trouble figuring a few things out. Uh, but okay, that is that. And uh, there we go. So this is the one side. So we got the steel on the top, or aluminum on the top, steel on the middle, copper on the bottom. As you can see, this is the, the bit of a mess I have. Oh, I didn't actually see the copper plates in there. Uh, I haven't hooked anything up yet because I want to get everything set up and then se join it all up and then go upstairs and watch the numbers rise. All right, so uh, I am keeping the junctions. Let me go over here so I can show you a little bit better. I'm keeping them away from everything one block just to keep things uniform. I don't know it doesn't really matter because they're all going in the same spot anyways, but uh, I made sure to make sure that my junction junctions aren't connecting so nothing will get crossed I had to sort of do a little step around oh I got some extras here what do you know yeah I had to redesign this a couple of times trying to figure out how I was going to do 
and there's that one. Alright, so the only thing left to do is hook these up. Now I did was gonna try to keep these the same as this or the vice versa. But that would mean putting the aluminum over here and then the dark metal and then the stainless or not stainless uh hard metal and neutronium, yes, that's right. Um, but we got space. We can always work the conveyors out. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> yes, I should have gone to the other end. Now I realize that. So that means I don't have to change everything upstairs. So I'm going to do that. I guess you can see what I've done wrong. This is supposed to go through this conveyor. So I'll actually I'm gonna do this right now. Because I don't need too many. Uh, let's see. Okay. That one's going to go there. Right? Components. Hmm. Components first. I'm just trying to think now. Because it's going to be... I like to have the components on the, the parts on the left. Let me... Alright, plates on the left. Let me think about this. Okay, that's what I have to do. So the plates are on the top. They're going to this one here. Components are on... The, the parts are on this side. They're going into here. Uh, the only thing I have left to do... Is make sure I have enough parts to reset those things, uh, the, the racks. That's actually a good reason, a good thing that I didn't actually set everything, or uh, close everything off, I should say. Alright, plates, done. Component, or parts, done. If I ever call com parts components, then you know why. Alright, so we can clear that. Clear that. So all that's left to do is get everything hooked up. And yeah, so let's go downstairs, get everything joined up, and watch everything funnel in. I'm gonna need a bigger hole, I must be putting on weight. <sighs> I ain't no Santa, that's for sure. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, I gotta place these back down. Like that. Alright, so that's gonna be... Hold on. Okay, going in pink, coming up, going out pink. Which is, and you can come in green, pink, or in green, out pink. And I'm making sure to set all my roots. So, in green, out pink, good. Yes. Alright, and that is it. So now, I go here, this is going to be uh, in green, out oh, in green, out white. So, green, white that white and then white to pink uh, oh blue to pink blue to pink look at him go all right let's get the rest of these set up here okay now we're gonna go uh, in yellow out uh, white yellow white and then it's gonna be blue Pink. Okay. I'm going to the other side here. Uh, we're going in, in yellow, out white. Alright. And then in blue, out green. Alright. And so on and so forth. I want to see if I can get all this done before the robots finish. Okay, and then in blue and pink again, or green. Okay, next. Uh, gonna be all the same thing. Yellow, white, blue, pink, yellow, white, blue, pink. Okay, and then blue or green. No, I'm not colorblind, I'm just... I'm just me. Okay. And we're almost done here, a couple more. Yellow, white, uh, change that over, blue, green, green, not white, alright, and then same thing here, and we are almost done, two more clicks, or a few more clicks, and, oh yeah, I still gotta connect this one up, so that's going out to red, yellow, red, and then 
yellow white. Okay, and then that is going to be blue, green. Oh, that's the wrong one. I think it was blue, green. Yes, it was. All right. Let's go see if the system can keep up. And there we go. We have a live update of our supply. You can tell what I did first. Yeah, that's all the plates I have. Oh, that's cool. That actually works. It's going to crash me eventually. Again. But anyway, let's fill in these holes. Uh, we'll leave that hole. Just so I have a way to get up and down until I fix it. So then we have conveyors running around. All fancy looking. We definitely get more stainless steel going. Okay, and then the next thing I wanted to do too, like I'm not going to worry about finishing that up until uh, I get some more storage. In fact, let me check the recording time here. Well, I was just looking at the time and it's uh, it's about the time we're running into another, yet another long one, but I'm doing stuff like this whenever, when is it ever quick? That's nice. Good to see that. And then not only are we seeing a rough idea, well, let's just say an exact idea of how much we have as far as supplies go or materials uh, but we also have the the racks uh, as backup storage so if these fill up and we run out of room then at least we have some buffer over here and like I said I will change these all over to stainless when time comes because these are just steel so they're maxed at 2000 but uh, these ones like I said they're Pretty sure they were 6144, which is a really odd number for some reason. There you go, 6144. So we get 6,000 here, and then whatever we get in five steel chests. So in this way, this will keep running, and uh, that'll keep filling up. Uh, the, the other thing I wanted to do is I actually want to get a, like an auto, a, a sorting loading system for when we go mine runs for like the ores and the dirt and the basalt and all that stuff like the basalt should be going upstairs uh, for uh, the stainless I think I think that's what it was yeah we could do that and we could even double up the production on that but also get the ores going to where they need to go have like redstone and anything else I may find but anyways I'm going to call this on an episode I thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and as always I'll see you in the next one later Actually, before I end this, I should realize, uh, mention why I use these racks in the first place. And that's because stacks. Because you can't, can't pull stacks out of these. If you try to take a stack, you fill up your inventory. At least here, you can take a stack of copper parts if you want, or two, or three, or four, and not have to worry about using the mouse wheel to choose individual items. But anyways, again, what? I thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button on the way out, and if you're new to the channel, of course, subscribe for more videos. Anyways, see you later.